I am in Mexico City with the bold and the bankrupt and Simon. And we are about to indulge in some fine Mexican cuisine. Let's see what Simon's ordering. Uh, yeah, please, fries, fries, please. What are you going for? Uh, soda, uh, Coca Cola, please. And can I have an extra queso on the hamburger? Extra queso? I think it means queso, cheese. Is that what you meant? <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> Trying to mess up a... Do you understand what queso, queso means? Ketchup? He wants extra queso wants on his queso. hamburger. Oh, queso. I don't know what that is, but... Comes out to... Ah, that's... Oh! So what did you go for? A double cheese? A double cheese with extra queso. Ah. Alright, I am gonna go for a... A classic. Thank you. Um, habanero Ranch con Tokino Deluxe. Is that what you get? Yes. Oh. Are you jealous of my order? Mate, I'm very jealous. Should I have two then? That looks good. I think you should have two. I one think for you, really... one for me. We could try it. All right. We are. Oh, we have. We are in Mexico after all. We should go for the local, the local burger, not the, the thing Big Mac. Is, we've already had breakfast as well, remember? So this is like a side. I don't order. even rate that as breakfast. Anything that's not not taco or McDonald or pizza it doesn't count. So whatever that was, are you not having anything? You guys are sick. You're in Mexico and you're eating McDonald's. You disgust me. So you're, so you're not going to have anything? I mean, look, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that you guys are sick for making me come down here. I mean, I'm just bored. Okay. <laughs> well, he doesn't think we're sick. He's smiling. He's like, wow, we have customers. Finally, some foreigners who know how to appreciate the local cuisine. Um, she ran off though before she took my order. It's because my order's so big. <laughs> what did you order? <laughs> 11 hamburgers. Okay. Hola. Habanero uh, Ranch. Dos, por favor. Uh, con soda y papa? Si. Sí. Coca Cero. Con. Is it yellow? How do you say uh, ice? Yellow. Ice. Yellow, yellow. No, not ice. It's yellow. <laughs> Finally, I'm going to teach this man some Spanish. He arrived yesterday and was speaking French. True story. He said, what language do they speak in this country? And he said, je m'appelle Simon. Oui. Oui, yeah. Uh, 2.38. Okay. Hold on. Federal reserves. Do we have enough? There we go. Muchas gracias. Yeah. Cuts out 90% of the Look at his old one. Look at his dirty old sponge. He's this is it. a beautiful camera. It's the I greatest to my filming. Oh, I yeah, am. We're three can minutes we, in. Can we do a GoFundMe, please, for Harold to buy a new sponge? You can't see the sponge because it's underneath his camera. But it's held on by a broken old elastic band and a dirty old kitchen sponge that's seen better days. Can we please raise some money and save Harold's camera? Change of subject. This is my video. Can you explain to me the novel way that you're wearing your, your mask by not covering your nose? Is this how you protect yourself from the Rona in Britain? I don't do. I mean, a man who's not wearing a mask should never comment on a man who's half wearing a mask. Well, I'm, I'm eating. Sorry. You don't have that excuse. I might join you if you don't film it and promise not to show people. Oh, this is going up. <laughs> bald, the title of this video is Bald at Mexican McDonald's. <laughs> no, it's a secret. I don't want people knowing I betrayed Mexican cuisine by eating this imported imperialist white man's food. No, no more. Why are you trying to throw words into my video that will get me demonetized? <laughs> Why are you being racist against the pandemic? Wow, you oh, look at this. I like how you're stacking the Coke Zeros. Great. This is the Coke Zero? Gracias. Oh. What's this? You're ordering two? A chain I'm going to have to go for round two then. Simon has this thing that he thinks he can eat more than me, faster than me, spicier than me. Not spicy. He thinks he can I'll drink more than me. I'll give you the spicy. I'm you, pretty you much. I'm me. better at absolutely everything when it comes to Harold, eating. Seriously. Whether it's you speed eat eating, no. longevity uh, eating. No, you're all got it all wrong. Oh, but, oh, but he's ordering. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's going on? What are you going for? Hey, you're not making this. Uh, yes. Mr. Bold. Yes. This uh, tight ass finito. managed to find uh, something on the menu that costs just 54. <laughs> 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 Seriously? Is possible? Is it possible? Gracias. Oh, can't you vultures? Yeah. Uh, finally, sorry, I don't mean to bother. Uh, I don't know what to do, dude. I just got robbed by a taxi uh, from Austin. And I had my money in my phone in my bag. 
the cops, they don't care. They said since I didn't tip it can help me. And you got robbed? Yeah. Have a Coke Zero. Huh? Have a Coke Zero. We have three. No, that's I. I, I don't. I don't really drink like a lot of uh, soda. But I, I'm sorry. You I, should. It's pretty good. Okay. What's thank happening? You. What's happening? What are you looking for? Huh? What's happened? I got robbed, man, and I need ah, to get dude. to the terminal. I need to get my ticket, and I need to get twenty dollars, and no one cares. I don't care either. I, I'm not sure your story is legit. No, I promise. I'm not lying. An email, and I'll send it to you. An email? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Come on, guys. No. Have a Coke Zero if you want. Big one. No, I don't want to go. No? Man. no. <laughs> okay. That's funny. I don't need a Coke right now. <laughs> I mean, whatever you can help me with. Dude. No, nothing. Sorry. Okay, thank you. Do you believe that? Oh, sweet. Why would he run into the mall and seek us out? I don't know. Could be legit. Do you think that was legit? That was the least legit request for 20 bucks I've ever heard. Jesus Christ. And what, he's trying to pretend, it, to, be a, trying to, pretend to be a foreigner? And he's a local? Get out of here. All right. Ball did not fall for his uh, sob story. Neither did I. Neither did I. Where are the straws? Um, hold on. Let me try and phrase this politely. Last time I spoke Spanish, um, I forgot how to... Was, was Senorita the, like the rude way? Or was it, is that a rude way? Hola, like, Senorita. Like, it's very rude saying. How, how, would you, how would you say? Hola. Uh, like madame, like ma'am, something like that. Senora. Okay. Hola, Senora. Yeah, senorita, she's young. Senorita. Ah, okay. Uh, quiero un. Uh, un. Uh, on the straw. -o. <laughs> I think you understood me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> okay. Uh, do, dos más, por favor. Whoa, the Spanish coming back. Okay, thank you very much. Look, I got straws for us. Ah, thank you very much. That's a bit racist against the rainforest, isn't it? Are these, are these paper ones as no, well? No, I don't think they are. They're the good plastic ones. Plastic. These are collector's items now because they're going away. All you can get now these days is these crappy plastic straws that dissolve in your Coke Zero. So you basically you can't drink your Coke Zero. So. I'm, I'm gonna take your straw. Do you need it? Here we go. Ah, gracias. Thank you very much. Extra mayo? No. Uh, can I have an extra katsu, please? Uh, oh, finally a proper meal. Okay. Nothing like some fine local dining in Mexico. Ah, cheers. Again, look at this monstrosity of a camera. I can't believe how you film with this. This is how the big boys film. Really? <laughs> <laughs> like who? Tell me more about these big boys you're hanging with. <laughs> Actually, it is how they film. Like the biggest vloggers, they do have a camera like this. But in Neistat, um, I don't know who else is big, but they carry this. I don't know. Five, Another big one, Simon Wilson. Five kilo. Oh, by the way, yeah. This is Simon Wilson. If you haven't seen him before, he's got a good challenge. Not a good chan. <sighs> Concentrate, Christian soldier. He has a great channel where he actually does real things, unlike me, who just go for sloppy haircuts and like McDonald's. He once had a competition. You were the host of that competition? Yeah. It was a race to Monaco, right? Yeah. Five random people. The winner won 5,000 pounds? In cash. He and has done uh, no money. Ch yeah, go on. You have to get from Amsterdam to Monaco with no money. You have done no money challenges. You did. Uh, he went to the seven wonders of the world in six days. Six days, nine hours. So he does real stuff on his channel. Highly recommended. You check it out. Now I must warn you, though, he does eat like a. Um... Sorry, I don't know. I actually don't have words for how poor a eater he is. <laughs> like on the airplane yesterday. Wow. Well, here's your, here's your. So you had a double cheese. Here's your um, linea deluxe on the side. Thank you, mate. Do you want an 
extra fries with that. Where's the pepperoni? I don't know. We're gonna go for a side of pepperoni outside later on. And then we're in business. Then it's time for the world's greatest haircut video or something like that. Let's see what the... the ch look at the cheapskate with his mini. With his mini soda. Hey, come here. We've seen you already. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself, but okay. Wow, this is beautiful. To go up to people and say, like, oh, I've just been wrong, that is just shameless. Just give me 20 euro, not 20 dollars. What did you want it for? You go and get a ticket from somewhere. I mean, you can get the airport for 10, but I don't want to get 20 euro. Okay, let's, since this is a food review video, let's see then what a Mexican McDonald's, what it is like compared to Europe. So far? Mmm. My best Mark Wins impression. As you may have seen in Bold's food video, if you actually uploaded that one. Are you going to use that video? No. No? We made a street food video yesterday. Where... I absolutely crushed and destroyed both Simon and Bold in the in the Mexican taco challenge. And now he says he's not going to upload it. Why are you not going to upload a video? Uh, I don't think you performed very well. You were interrupting my monologues. I was saying, no, it doesn't reach my high standards. That is true. Bold has high standards. In fact, he has the highest standards of any man I know. Not that that says a lot, but... You know, when you both travel together, you always just rip into each other on the video. So. No. <laughs> rip into each other? This is a normal conversation. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Can you elaborate? <laughs> I mean, who... who, who left end of the day. There's the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, there is a video of Harold Wing urinating on an Indian building. Really? I, I seem to remember a video of you urinating on an Indian building <laughs> in, on, on my channel. No, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh. Yes, Harold made a video about India where I was making a joke about hiding a sock and it caused international outcry. The sock I had, scam. I had defamed India, looted Indian socks. Um, like your ancestors, yeah, they also yeah. looted India. Exactly. <laughs> it's a very sensitive man, Mr. Bolt. Very sensitive. So this was obviously, once again, probably the greatest McDonald's review food video ever made. At least from Mexico City or this mall. I'm going to give it a... Uh, a... Um, a Herald Approves. Or McDonald's in Mexico. So, this was the first video from, from this. What's going to be a long journey with Bold and Simon. Check out Simon's channel if you haven't before. Like I said, he actually has good content, unlike me, where he does real shit. <laughs> Uh, Mr. Bold, I can't vouch for his content, but if you really do want to go over there and give him some views, I mean, he's really, he really, really, really needs the money, you know. Uh, check him out. Any, any, any parting words? No, I agree with everything you said. Oh, okay. Nope. Signing off. Now, I told you guys earlier in the video about Simon and how he fancies himself an eating champion, but he really... Why he, didn't you eat he, a burger? Uh, this is I your burger. Mine, this is yours. his burger. Hold on. And this way. Oh, is that oh, it's the wrong way. Okay. How All right. Do you want to sit down so you can eat your burger? Uh, we well, th this is your burger. Uh, no, you didn't, no, I ate mine. Uh, no, no, no. You no. ate your tiny mini cheeseburger. No, I, I, this, is, uh, this is the deluxe burger, the Mexican burger that... that you... No, I ate that. Uh, that was yours, well, But it, 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 it's still here. Hmm. No, that's my burger. Anyway, no, someone outside is going to appreciate this one. We know a guy this morning who um, gave us uh, coffee. He says he sleeps on a bench outside. So when we arrived last night, there is a, 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 a huge police presence here now. Because there is some anti, anti, uh, not quite sure exactly what they're demonstrating against here, but this has something to do with, uh, with the government. So that explains the extra police presence right here, downtown outside our hotel. Our hotel is right above this McDonald's. And this little tent, makeshift tent city that they have set up here. I guess I can walk through the tent city.
Let me see. That. Uh, oh, he's not here. He is not here. The man who I had planned to give this burger to. Well, we'll just find someone then. There was a lot of. Uh, it's a bit of a rough. A rough. Well, you know what they say, never let a bo good burger go to waste. These guys, they look like they'd appreciate a, a, uh, a Linea Deluxe. You want a hamburger? Yeah? <laughs> All right. There we go. Enjoy the Deluxe. Yeah, yeah. Enjoy. Noruega. So in Noruega. Oh, no. uh, yeah. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy, bye bye. No worries. <laughs> okay, now back to back through the maze of policemen to the uh, to the hotel. I'm gonna get a SIM card. Oh, the whole street is closed off. I'm gonna have to walk to the main entrance at the mall again. But all right, from the World's greatest McDonald's food video. See you in the next one.